not just say that? Instead of my normal intro today, I thought it'd probably be better to just do a little voiceover and explain to you guys what's been happening, why I've been so away from YouTube lately. Um, as I mentioned around sort of December time, I have started a new job and it is just a bit more demanding of my time. So the free time that I used to have, I don't necessarily have all of that time anymore. Um, so I'm just trying to deal with trying to juggle that and fit YouTube back into my life that is now <laughs> much busier than I expected to be when I started my YouTube channel. Um, I did also have exams during April which made things even worse but those are now done and I'm trying to get back on track with things. My plan is to get back into a more regular schedule. It'll probably be one video every like one or two weeks but if I can get into a more regular schedule, then at least you guys know what's happening. I'll be happier and we can get back into loving YouTube again, which I do. And I'm so excited to be back. And I'm so excited to finally share my reaction to the final episode of Only Friends with you all. So without further ado, let's just get into the episode. I don't understand why we're introducing this Boeing love triangle. Like, Boeing has been in two different love triangles. We're in the last episode. Why is he now inserting himself into Ray and Sam's relationship? And why is Ray advocating for having a threesome? Again. It's kind of irrelevant when you're an alcoholic, but yeah, sure. ผมจะหาคนที่ดูแลแฟนให้ดีเท่าไหร่แสนใช่ไม่มีอะไรถ้ามันดีขนาดนั้นเนี่ยเฮ้ยไว้ดิจูดัมเปิ้ลฟอร
มึงจะทำเฮียอะไรก็ทำไปเลยนะจะรีบไปไหนวะกูกำลังสนุกอยู่เลยมึงสนุก He's not Yeah Sanders never wanted a threesome Every single time Ray has brought it up Sanders been like No I don't want one มึงเป็นอะไรอ่ะ What do you mean What the fuck is wrong What Exactly มึงทำเฮียอะไรของมึงวะกูทำอะไรมึงยังรักมันอยู่ Yeah you you kissed him กูแค่ขอแจมด้วยนิดหน่อยอ่ะไม่ชอบอ่ะเออกูไม่ชอบอยากกลับไปดีกันไหมถ้าจะกลับไปอ่ะบอกกูด้วยนะมึงอย่ามางี้เง่าได้บอกวะกูยังไม่ได้คิดถึงขั้นอะไรนะเว้ยกูงี้เง่าเฮียอะไรแซนกูได้ยินมึงสองคนคุยกันในร้านเหล้าเรื่องความฝันของมึงสองคนที่อยากไปคอนเสิร์ตทั่วโลกอ่ะมึงก็แค่แฟนเก่าบอกวะใครๆมันก็มีอดีตกันทั้งนั้นอ่ะ No, yeah, no, no. And like, I don't know if it's just like translation issues, but the way that Sun's acting, Ray has every right to be like, "Are you gonna get back together?" Like, no, no, no like, what the fuck is going on? It's at no point has Sun denied that he's still in love with his ex-boyfriend. So I'm, not, I'm actually on Ray's side here. Like I'm actually with Ray getting pissed off at Sand, because Sander's pretty much admitted that he's still in love with his ex-boyfriend and he doesn't really know what's gonna happen. You're in a relationship, like you're currently committed to Ray. Like Sand's almost acting like they're not exclusively dating, which, as far as I was aware, they are. I don't understand what's happening. ยังชอบไอมิวได้เลยกูถามจริงเหรอมึงยังรักมันอยู่ป่าวะกูเคยชอบไอมิว Yeah, it's different. กูรักมันด้วยแต่กูรักมันแบบเพื่อนแต่ของมึงอะเป็นแบบไหนวะ Ray, Ray and Mew have resolved that. They have realized that they don't work romantically. แค่สองคนจูบกันนะกูก็รู้แล้วว่ากูเป็นแค่ตัวแทนหรือถ้ามึงจะเลือกมันน่ะก็ช่วยบอกกูหน่อยนะ If not แต่ถ้ามึงเลือกไม่ก็มึงก็ไปจัดการให้มันจบๆ Yeah Yes กูจะจัดการเอง Yes right Fucking fight for your man Yes I love Well I mean we knew that Ray was this feisty and fierce but like Bowen doesn't know what he's got himself into. Like he tried to fuck with Mew, and Mew showed him that actually he can't be fucked with that easily. And he's actually, he actually ended up protecting Top. I didn't fall for Bowen's games, and then he's tried to go after the Sand. And Ray is like, I'm not gonna fucking deal with this. If you two want to be together. Then fucking be together. But if you don't like, if Sam wants to be with me, then I am gonna fucking fight for him, and you're gonna be out of his life. It's like Boeing doesn't realize who he's going up against on both occasions, and I fucking hate him. I love that Ray said that to Sam. That was actually like very mature for Ray. Hey, Mum. You want to come back? Well, it's good, in a way. มึงก็เพิ่งกลับมาดีกันไปอยู่ด้วยกันเนี่ยกูว่าน่าจะรักกันมากขึ้นอะแต่กูว่าไม่วะมึงย้ายไปอยู่กับมันอะมึงก็ต้องพึ่งมันทุกอย่างเวลาทําอะไรก็ต้องเกรงใจมันอีกอึดอัดเปล่าๆมิวไม่เวิร์กหรอกไอเล่ซึ่งก็ยูเฮทอมึงเป็นห่วงกูหรือมึงเกลียดมันเนี่ยมึงจะเจอหน้ากันแล้วมึงจะต่อยกันทุกรอบเลยได้ไงกูก็แค่คิดว่าคนแบบมันอะเปลี่ยนไม่ได้หรอก You know what? Like I really hated it at the time, but I actually think that it's done them so much good for them to try being romantically together. The fact that they've now dated and it didn't work out, I think that they're so much better off for that. Their friendship is so much stronger. There's no like underlying tension. Ray can say these things. And everyone knows that it's not because he's in love with Mew. 
because yes, you just love me, but it, like it's different now. Oh, it's so good. I love that they were together. Like I hated it at the time, but now I love that they've been together. No, he's not. Boying fan Yeah. Oh, Mew is gonna be like Boeing's a bad person. Yeah. Boeing is a bad guy. Boston. I don't know. Is she gonna apologize to him? I mean, he doesn't deserve the other two's apology. But I think that two does kind of owe him an apology. He did deserve that apology. I actually, I actually kind of believe him. Like, I don't know if I'm a fool for believing Boston, but I actually believe that he does want that. Tom's so cute. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah, he's cute. ยังไงมิวก็มานอนที่นี่บ่อยๆอยู่แล้วอ่ะมิวไม่ต้องกลัวนะว่ามิวจะรําคาญเราอ่ะหรือถ้าวันไหนเนี่ยมิวเกิด
but it probably like was quite awkward. Um, I need to watch the behind the scenes. Like I'm, I must watch the behind the scenes. Okay. ว่าจะได้ทําให้พี่ปิ๊กซ่าก็ได้นะอืมมึงอย่าไปเพื่อตัวเองหรือมึงอย่าไปเพื่อเป็นแฟนกูล่ะเพื่อตัวเองดิของ
มึงจะมาทําไมอีกวะมาสร้างปัญหาปัญหาอะไรกูมาดีกูเอาบัตรอาร์ติกมังกี้มาให้มึงบัตรมันโซเอาละแต่กูก็หามาได้ Oh Ray can go with him อาร์ติกมังกี้เหรอผมโปรดมึงนี่ถ้ามึงอยากไปอ่ะกูเป็นเพื่อนได้นะบัตรมันโซเอาไปละซื้อต่อได้ปะเท่าไหร่ว่ามาพอดีกูอยากไปดูคอนเสิร์ตกับแฟนกูอะตั้งแต่กูคบกับมันกูก็เริ่มฟังเพลงร็อกอังกฤษกูชอบฟิลก่อนคอร้องเพลงกันในคอนเสิร์ตอะซื้อต่อได้ปะมาดีมิวมิวจะกับเลด้วยเหรอรู้จักดี They're best friends นี่เพื่อนสนิทเราอะมีอะไรก็เล่าให้ฟังกันตลอดถ้าแซนมันว่างกูจะไม่ว่านะแต่แซนเป็นแฟนกูโอเคกูเข้าใจละมีแฟนออกตัวเป็นเจ้าของแบบนี้มึงเหมือนเป็นหมามาเลย You fucking you fucking prick That is not what this is at all This is Ray claiming what is his and being proud of the fact that Sand is his boyfriend and he's not gonna let anyone Take him away from him, not without a fucking fight, because he cares about Sand. He's not gonna let Sand go as easily as you did. เออดิเวลากูรักใครอ่ะกูก็เป็นหมาแบบนี้แหละแต่อย่างน้อยเจ้าของกูเขาก็รักกูจริงใจกับกูไม่ใช่พอเบื่อแล้วก็ไปหาตัวใหม่มาเลี้ยงมึงนี่เวลาถึงก็น่ากลัวเหมือนกันนะเนี่ยแน่นอนดิก็กูไม่ชอบให้ใครมายุ่งกับคนของกูปะคนใหม่หรือคนเก่ากูไม่ชอบกูไม่เคยแพ้ใครอยู่แล้วปะโอเค Ray's pretty great เพื่อนเราอ่ะรักใครรักแรงนะ True New knows Boston and Nick นี่เป็นครั้งแรกเลยนะที่มึงจูกูกลางสาธารณะแบบเนี้ยกูรู้มึงชอบอะไรแบบนี้มึงชอบก็ชอบจูกลางแดนฟอร์แบบเนี้ยมึงคิดว่ากูไม่เคยคิดไว้หรออยากให้มึงแนะนําเพื่อนมึงว่ากูเป็นแฟนมึงอันนี้ยากละเพราะกูไม่มีเพื่อนครบกูลืมขอโทษอีกอย่างหนึ่งใกล้ปีใหม่แล้วอะกูอยากให้ตอนที่เราไปเขาดาวด้วยกันน่ะมึงหันมาจูบกูแบบได้พี่คินดีแล้วแล้วก็พอแล้วเยอะแล้วพอพอพอพอไม่ได้ละเอา you said you can do anything ว่ามึงพูดแล้วก็ทําไม่ได้ดีเออกูจะพยายามแล้วกันแต่อย่าคาดหวังนะแล้วแต่โอกาสกูจะมาแบบเซอร์ไพรส์มึงดูแลกูอ่ะกูชอบเกจ้าอันนี้กูมา That's really sweet, actually. I'm not sure if I believe him, but. Do these two know each other? Go on, Nick. No. Oh, Bowen's hot though. Excuse you. You have a boyfriend. Bad day, lah, hap. Bad life. Life is heavy, more than. Boston can relate. Then they go near home, poor, lah, man, hap. Short, nae. Then I'm leaving. Why are you buying some other guy a drink? You want to buy what? You literally just left Nick on the dance floor. Why did I trust him? Why did I trust him? Oh, walk away, Nick. Walk away and don't look back. Oh, you fucking asshole. Okay. Leave him. Don't go back to him, Nick. Don't you ever go back to him. I'm really upset. He never fucking changes. 
Oh. Okay. Who was Boeing of all people? No, he will not be okay with this. I don't think that you did talk about it. I'm so upset. I'm actually like tearing up about this. Oh, fuck uh, off. No. Yeah. Nah. Fuck off. <laughs> no, no. Okay, fuck off. Don't even, don't, don't, Nick. No, you weren't. He saw you. But you can't do it. ไม่ใช่มึงเลยอ่ะเพราะฉะนั้นเราคุยกันแล้วไงว่าจะลองไปแฟนกันก่อนที่กูบินไปนิวยอร์กไงประกาศให้มึงมาเที่ยวกับก
มึงคิดว่ามึงจะยอมคบกับไอ้บอสตั้งจริงๆเหรอวะทางที่มันแปลกว่าคนอื่นนะ You shouldn't กูยังไม่แน่ใจอ่ะกูไม่รู้กูจะยอมเปล่ากูตอบให้เลยนะว่ามึงยอม Yeah you will but you shouldn't ก็มึงรักมันจนมึงไม่รักตัวเองแล้วไงมึงคิดว่าทุกอย่างที่มันทําให้มึงอ่ะมันคือสิ่งดีที่สุดแล้วแต่กูว่ามันก็แปลนะอย่างน้อยมันก็บอกกูตรงๆอ่ะว่าให้กูได้มากแค่ไหน No กูยังไม่ต้องคาดหวังก็ You do have high hopes, and you you have every right to be like, what you're offering me isn't enough, because what he's offering you isn't enough. You can. Yeah. You can do better than him. I'm so glad that Nick has sound, best friendship. I've said it before, and I will say it again: best friendship. Adopting Ray. I sure you didn't come to John. Okay. You didn't do it, right? You like to come to me when you need me. It's like John is coming to me when I need him. Oh, Sam. Oh, Ethan. Okay. You didn't come to me. He's here. He was invited. Hey, this Ethan is going to come to me now. ให้โอกาสมันได้ทำได้ลาได้ขอโทษความเฮี้ยความหาอะไรของมันเนาะ I don't think that he feels sorry for what he's done No I don't think he does I don't believe him เราดิงเพิ่มนะแต่ขอโทษก็เรียกขอโทษดิกูรอคำขอโทษจากมึงอยู่นะ You deserves your apology the most ขอโทษเรื่องอะไรขอโทษใครขอโทษแม่ขอโทษหมาเหรอขอโทษมึงอะกูขอโทษที่แอบหายมึงกับมิวแล้วกูขอโทษที่วันนั้นกูเมาแล้วก็บอกไอ้แซนว่ามึงชอบมิวแต่เรื่องที่กูต่อยมึงอ่ะกูไม่ขอโทษนะเพราะมึงต่อยกูก่อนโอเคสมควรโดนแล้วมึงอ่ะคนที่จะให้โอกาสมึงกลับเข้ากลุ่มได้อ่ะคงไม่แค่มิว is มิวเยอะแต่ขอโทษมิว has the ultimate say in this could you hurt him the most ใช่แต่ทำไมไอ้มิวมันให้โอกาสท็อปแต่ทำไมมันยังโกรธกูอยู่วะ you didn't apologize top has showed me that he is that he regrets it. Top has showed me that he's changed. Top has showed me that he would never do anything like that to him ever again. You've done fuck all. And you just expect him to forgive you without anything. Mung, I'll be at the table with you. I've gone through the process with you all. I'm ready to forgive you. Mung, I'm ready to forgive you. Mung, I'm ready to Nick doesn't want to be with him anymore. Yes. That doesn't make it right. What you did is worse than an apology can result. กูแค่อยากให้มึงรู้ว่าที่กูทำอ่ะไม่ใช่เพราะกูเกลียดมึง Yeah because he wanted to talk เป็นเพราะความไม่คิดที่เลยๆของกูกูจะบอกมึงที่กูบอกท็อปนะกูให้อภัยแต่กูไม่ลืมส่วนความเป็นเพื่อนของกูกับมึงอ่ะมันจบลงไปละ Yeah มันไม่ได้มาง่ายๆเดี๋ยวมึงก็หนีปัญหาทุกอย่างมาอยู่นิวยอร์กอยู่แล้วนี่กูแค่อยากไปที่ใหม่ๆอ่ะ It won't. You are the only person. Yeah. You need to put the work in. Just like Top's done. Step one is Nick. Boston thinks going to New York is just gonna like instantly change him, and that he's not gonna have to put any effort in whatsoever. But like. That's not how it works. And he is just running. Mew is so right. He is just running away to New York. Running away from all of the problems. He, like, destroyed everyone's lives. They've managed to rebuild it. But he destroyed lots of people's lives. And then just decided that he was going to run away and leave everyone to fucking fix it. Hey, San. Hey, San. Hey, San. งั้นกูขอท้าให้มึงจูบท็อป
Vem. Ah, Miu. Oi. Tá bom. Olha aí. He's trying to like mend their relation. Well, they have no relationship, but he's trying to mend what top fucked up between top and sand. He wants them to be at least friendly so that they can all hang out together and there's no tension. I'm not sure that this is the right way to go about it, but yeah, sure, I'm you. Hey. เรื่องพวกนี้มึงยอมทําไม่ได้เลยใช่มั้ยเนี่ยเรื่องพวกนี้มึงยอมทําไม่ได้เลยใช่มั้ยเนี่ยไงตันไปเปล่าไม่ช
But I think that first Gao Tong have done an incredible job at portraying them and that massively helps. He needed to think. Regardless of what sweet thing he's done, don't take him back. Because he does all this, but he's not gonna. He's not gonna be monogamous. He's not gonna stop sleeping with other people. Good. Because he deserves more. Yeah. Yes, you will. You can't promise that. Because you will. แล้วมึงไม่ต้องโทษตัวเองแล้วนะแต่กูว่าบางทีอ่ะคนอย่างมึงอาจจะเหมาะกันอยู่คนเดียวมากกว่าอย่างที่กูเคยบอกมึงไ
มีผ้าอะไรไปบ้างว้าวโอ้ลิชิตนี่เพราะว่ามิวบอกเพื่อนว่าให้เราเต็มสิบเลยนะเราทําเต็มที่เลยเพื่อนเดียวมิวแต่จริงไหมเราก็ไม่ได้สนหรอกว่าเราจะเป็นคนแรกของมิวหรือเปล่าทําไมอ่ะท็อปจะพูดว่าแต่มิวเป็นคนสุดท้ายนะเราวิ่งไปอ้วกในห้องน้ำเลยนะไม่พูดอะไรเสลิมเสลิมยาชีเบิร์ดแล้วใครเนาะที่มันไปขอเป็นแฟนกลางร้านเหล้าอ่ะตอนนั้นเราอยากได้ปะแต่ก็คุ้มนะที่เรายอมอายวันนั้นน่ะไม่งั้นน่ะเราก็ไม่ได้มีมันนอนก่อนแบบนี้หรอกยอมยังขอแล้วเกิดอะไรขึ้นนะท็อปเฟิร์นเหรอคือเขาแบบซูเปอร์ฟรายด์เฟิร์นเกิดอะไรขึ้นนะครับ That Boeing set the fucking hotel on fire or some shit. Bye, bye. 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 What? What? Why? Is this about what happened to him before? I have to thank Mew. ถ้าไม่มีมิวนิดเราสติแตกแน่เลยอ่ะอืมเขาม t h i n g else to focus on which was keeping me s a ไม่ได้ช่วยอะไรท็อปเลยท็อปมาแหละที่มีความเป็นผู้นำควบคุมไม่ทุกอย่างเก่งมากนะเธอเป็นเธอเป็นเธอเป็นเธอเป็นเธอเป็นเธอเป็นเธอถ้ากฎหมายสุราเสรีผ่านเมื่อไหร่อ่ะเดี๋ยวกูเป็นนายทุนให้สัตว์มึงไม่เคยได้ยินเหรอคนเป็นแฟนกันอ่ะทําธุรกิจด้วยกันมันเสี่ยงนะเว้ยเสี่ยงตรงไหนอ่ะก็กูรวยอยู่แล้วปะกูก็แค่อยากให้มึงรวยด้วยจ้าเพราะไฮโซคุณหนูเลแต่ถือว่ามึงดีแล้วนะเคแต่กูอยากได้ชื่อแบรนด์ใหม่แบรนด์เก่ามึงชื่อว่าอะไรนะจูดอะมึงกูอยากได้ชื่อที่มันง่ายๆแต่ก็ยังมีความหมายอยู่อะแบบเตซานแล้วก็แซนเลยไหมกูว่าชื่อเราสองคนอยู่ด้วยกันแล้วมันพอดีนะกูว่าก็ดีนะแต่จริงๆกูแอบชอบแซนเลยอะฟังแล้วมันคล้ายกับแซนเลยดีมันให้ฟิลแบบแสงแห่งความหวังอะมึงก็ดีเหมือนกันนะจะได้เก็บเงินด้วยกันแล้วก็ไปเที่ยวเทศกาลดนตรีรอบโลกด้วยกันเพ่งดี Is that like a Is that like a play on the fact that there's a joke about whether it's first cow tongue or cow tongue first Are they trying to make reference to that by being like maybe we should call the band Ray Sand or should it be Sand Ray ขอบคุณมึงนะที่ทำให้ชีวิตมีเป้าหมายขนาดเนี้ย There's been some incredibly passionate kisses in this series. Like that's one thing you could say about it. Like there has not been any lackluster kisses. ทุกคนดูมีส่วนร่วมกันหมดเลยอะแต่กูแบบไม่ได้ช่วยอะไรเลยอะโอ้ยไม่ช่วยอะไรกูเป็นแฟนเจ้าของนะเว้ยแล้วก็เป็นเบสสปอร์เตอร์ทางใจที่ดีสุดของกูช่วยเยอะสุดเลยรู้ปะเนี่ยฮะ Yeah true Ray would have went like Ray would have gone so far off the rails if it hadn't been for you this wouldn't have happened because Ray would have probably died to be honest Really, you've saved Ray's life. 
เฮ้ยแขกมาแล้วเว้ยมึงเชียวเร็วเดี๋ยวเราพูดหนึ่งตอนนี้เราซ้อมวัวเวลคัมทัวร์ที่เป็นสเตจเราพากันแบบเพื่อน It's mix Oh my god it's beautiful ผมจองห้องเตียงเดียวไว้ครับนอนคนเดียว Oh he's wonderful งั้นขอเป็นเพื่อนด้วยคนนะครับ Yes, Top that needs to watch out for me, not the other way around. I don't know how to feel about that. It was a little bit of an unsatisfying ending. I'm happy that Nick said no to Boston. It was hard because part of me was like, I want to see them together. Like, part of me just wanted to see them together again because I fucking love seeing them together. Visually, they were my favourite couple. Oh, God, beautiful, everything obsessed but the other half of me the more rational part of me was like nick deserves better it would be the a bad move for him to have forgiven well not even forgiven boston because he just forgive boston he didn't hold any bad feelings towards boston but like nick deserves better than what boston can offer him at the end of the day and surprisingly that's no one's fault surprisingly boston wasn't technically in the wrong Cue the montage and I will talk about my opinions on the whole of Only Friends from episode 1 to episode 12. We should probably start off with talking about the things that I think that Only Friends did well. And I think do think that there are some things that it did well. I think that it was impeccably cast. I think that all three of the main couples were cast so well. Regardless of what I thought about Mew and Top's storyline, I think that Force Book have incredible chemistry and I think that they act so well against each other. Um, first, Cow Tongue doesn't even need to be mentioned. They're obviously incredible. Every single thing that they've been in, they have been impeccable. They're fantastic. And I think that Neo Mark did an incredible job. It's their first time that we've seen them as main characters and they just absolutely smashed it out of the park oh, they made me feel so strongly about both of their characters the fact that neo made us hate boston so much just shows how good of a job he did it was really so well done another thing that i think that only friends did well is that it took the bl trope of everyone's gay and kind of ran with it you watch BL shows and it's like, oh my god, they're gay too? Like, everyone in this show is gay. But I think that they did it organically and realistically. And it just felt like a queer friendship group. Rather than it being like, coincidentally, everyone in this show is gay. It worked. And they did that really well. Given that, however, there are some things that I think only friends didn't do particularly well i think that they set it up to be this show that was going to be a new direction for gmn tv bls taking it in like a much darker direction going a bit further with their mc scenes with the mc scenes i think that they did that well i think that the way that they did them the way that they shot them the way that the actors threw themselves into those scenes really sold it you really felt all of the emotions in all of the scenes that they did and i think that that's a credit to the actors that they cast them trying to make a more dark gritty morally gray kind of show i don't think they did that that well to be honest i think that they set it up to be something set people's expectations to a level that they could not meet the main villain of the show was boeing it was boeing and boston Boston, they did really well. I'm so glad that they didn't give him a redemption. It really looked at one point that they were going to give him a redemption arc, where we got to learn a bit more about his motivations for his actions. He started to promise Nick things. We thought that he might end up being monogamous towards Nick. I'm so glad that he cheated on him. It was so painful to watch, but I'm really glad that they... It felt like they were remaining true to the character of Boston that they'd set up it would have been really unrealistic and cheap if they had had Boston's character change so quickly there wasn't enough time for him to grow enough to be 
the monogamous person that Nick deserved. So I'm glad that they didn't end up together. I really liked that. Boeing, however, that villain was just not done well. I think that maybe they should have introduced Boeing earlier to have really built his revenge storyline. It could have been more sinister. It could have been him trying to get closer to Top earlier. They could have done more with him trying to interfere in Sand and Ray's relationship. I just think they misused that character and it could have really been used to add a few more twists to the show, which would have helped make it a little bit more gritty and darker, at least add a bit more suspense to the show. I do feel like they missed a trick with that and they could have utilised Boeing's character in a much more interesting way. Overall, I think Only Friends set itself out to be something and it fell flat off that. It really shows that the first few episodes were a lot more enjoyable to watch than the last few. It felt kind of rushed towards the end and it was a very unsatisfying ending. But I like that GMMTV were trying to at least do something a little bit different. They really are throwing BLs at us at the moment. So the fact that they tried to do something a bit different from the tens of BLs that they're pumping out each year was a good step in the right direction. So hopefully we will get more shows that are going to be trying to do something like Only Friends tried and they'll get better at doing that rather than just having a carbon copy of every single BL because we've seen it all to be honest they need to at least try and do something different so that's my overall opinion on Only Friends it's a good start but overall fell a bit flat now that I've talked about all of my opinions on the whole of the series, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am now looking for a new show to react to. I know that some of you have put suggestions like on various videos throughout me watching this series of recommendations that you want me to watch. I have seen them. I have made a note of them. So don't worry, I've seen all your recommendations so far. But if there's anyone that hasn't made any recommendations yet, or there's a show that you really want me to react to, if there's a show that's coming out soon, or if there's a show that's on at the moment, then let me know, and maybe that'll be the next show that I react to. But for the last time on Only Friends, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. <laughs>